Okay, well, the other big concern I've got here is, of course, weed control. Mm -hmm. How do we manage weed control without the good old herbicides? <laughs> well, I do need to have some idea on what kinds of weeds are problems out there. Typically, I'd have, uh, I, I know some Australian names, I don't know whether they just do it, and they're not, not the proper name, but there's uh, fat hen, typically, um, thistle type, broadleaf. Um, and fat hen says you have really high nitrate levels in that soil. Um, the thistle says, well, fat hen also says you've got compaction. And the thistle definitely says compaction as well as high nitrate levels. So you've got at least two weeds that are very clear indicators. And then we have, we have <coughs> what else do we have? Um, nutweed, you know, that's gone rampant. Nutweed, that, 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 I think that's what I call fat hen, isn't it? No, no the fat hen's a tall one. Okay. With all the little seeds. Cute little white flowers. And yeah. typically that wire grass that we call wire grass. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a, that's a good description for it. It's a, I can't remember the scientific name, but those both are indicators of compaction. And that so we're... Grows in the, uh, in the bed, oh, in the interbed where the tire yeah. tractors run up and down. So Com like, compaction yeah, makes a lot of sense. Yeah. yeah. And so in order to get rid of those weeds, what we have to do is make sure that soil doesn't compact. It, we maintain really good structure in there. So I'd like to possibly get a um, seed in something else that would give us um, more food for the microorganisms, both in your driving row as well as immediately under the blueberry. I'd like to get something that's really short, um, doesn't grow very high, but nice thick crowns, so it's crowding out any other weeds that are trying to come in. Something that's, especially for the, for the driving row, something that's very drivable on that doesn't break or, or get crushed. Mm -hmm. um, so, Well, we're always focused on keeping the beds weed free. That's the name of the game, I guess. But I'd, like a, I'd like to see an understory plant species in underneath those um, shrubs. Um, what we find in other parts of the world are the perennial herbs work really well, but you want the very short varieties. Um, you know, I'm always suggesting something like thyme or marjoram or a lavender, but a very small, very short lavender if you're going to go that direction. Um, heather works really well in certain parts of the world in very dry areas. Well, the lavender works really well too, but it's not the French lavender. It's not the you know the heather that you know it's not gorse. It's um, and makes a really tight mat. And there's a short, there's a short version, not the tea chamomile. There's a short version that was done at the, at the lab. You're doing some work on that. Yeah, but well, that's mow that's mowable as well. Yeah. So that's a great one to have in the driving row, and then same thing maybe on your beds. But it really prevents weeds from being able to come in. You don't ever have to. You know, um, go in and do a herbicide. You don't have to go and mow. Even your um, driving lanes, the chamomile doesn't get that tall. Mm 